What's up, YouTube? Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Today's Saturday. Chill mode. Relax, eat good food, watch TV, relax with family and friends. That's what it's all about, especially on the weekend. But I wanted to make a quick video because I had got my second dose of the COVID vaccine. My first one was um, last month at the end of the month, and then I just got my second dose yesterday. Uh, me and my daughter and my other daughter had got, you know, both of her doses at the beginning of the year. So me and my youngest daughter was a little late, and I'm gonna say the side effect for me is that my arms are a little sore, but I took a Motrin, which was a 200 milligram, of the shot and then later on late night it started hurting so I took another motion later on so that was like a whole bunch of hours that had passed it was just hurting too bad like even when I was laying down I just couldn't I couldn't adjust so I said let me take a motion kind of like calm down the pain but that's basically what my side effect was was that my arm was sore um, I didn't feel any anything else besides that. Um, and I was the main one at one point saying, you know, I'm not going to get the vaccine. I don't care for it because I take vitamin C, which I do. Way before the COVID, I was taking vitamin C. Um, for people that don't know really what vitamin C is for, I know that's something I'm done me saying it, but some people just may not know what it's really for. And it's basically just to help build your immune system to keep any type of infections and things like that to enter inside the body. So it's good to take vitamin C on a regular, even if you're not sick. Some people will wait till they get sick, then want to take vitamin C. No, you should take it um, even if you're not sick. Make that part of your routine to help keep your immune system um, going and stay strong. So that's what vitamin C is for. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people like to wait and take take it when they get sick. No, just take it even when you're not sick. You know what I'm saying? Prevention, to help prevent of not being sick. But I was saying, you know, no, nah, I won't get the vaccine. I'm taking vitamin C. So I ended up changing my mind because now it's getting to the point where people, you know, are not going to want you to enter into their facility or enter into their uh, place of shopping or work if you don't have the vaccine and proof of it. So I just changed my mind and decided to get it and make sure my kids were vaccinated. But that was really pretty much my side effect. You know, my arm was a little sore. That's it. So I'll bounce back. I'll be okay. So for any of the people that haven't got the COVID dosage, um, that was basically my side effect for my body. Um, but for the people that already got it and you're running across this video, I'm pretty sure you probably got the sore arm or whatever, you know. Some people may got diarrhea from it, you know. It just all depends on the body um, as far as the side effect. But my side effect was just sore arm. And my daughter said hers was sore arm as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We survived that and we are vaccinated. So, if you're not vaccinated, um, if you're thinking about getting vaccinated, you know, it'd be good to go ahead and do it to prevent from any health issues with COVID coming your way or anything worse than COVID. So it's, you know, good to try to think about if you're going to get vaccinated and go ahead and do it. If you're not, just stay, continue still taking care of yourself and take your vitamin C. If you're not taking vitamin C, go ahead and get hit to it and take it because it will help your immune system. All right, I'll talk to you guys. Don't forget to like this video. And thanks for my newest subscribers. I love y'all. Peace.